2020 Audi S5 Sportback Review, Criss Cross Applesauce. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The 2020 Audi S5 Sportback is what happens when you put a bunch of desirable and occasionally disparate automotive qualities in a blender and puree them until smooth. You create a creamy, rich driving experience. This car blends the good looks of a two-door coupe with the usability of a liftback and the carrying capacity of a sedan. It matches up brisk, invigorating, and accessible performance with effortless tech and impressive luxury touches. And while this speedy four-door coupe has some failings, that backseat isn't that big, and the performance isn't quite as involving as we might like, the overall result is a hard-to-match combination that's easy to recommend. Yeah, yeah, the Audi A7 looks great, but to your author's eyes, the A5, S5, RS5 Sportback is better, especially following its recent facelift. The shape and proportions are perfect, with the car packing a bunch of style into a relatively compact footprint. The 2020 model's revised headlights and flashier front grille, finished in gloss black on our tester, present a face that marries refinement with sporting touches. The profile is lovely, with the plunging roofline terminating in a stylish duckbill spoiler, while the revised taillights paint a prettier picture at night, with more and more detailed accents. In our specific tester's favor is the stunning district green paint. While not as evocative as the RS line Sonoma Green, it's a tasteful and stylish earth tone that still manages to stand out on the road. It's without question the shade we'd choose for an S5. But letting the side down is our test unit's dorky 18-inch wheels, which are too small for the wells and don't show enough brake disc. We aren't really sure where these wheels came from, as they don't appear on the S5 Sportback's online configurator, but unfortunately these wheels take the place of the Black Optic package's gorgeous 20-inch, 5-spoke alloys. We're happy to have the winter weather capability of the Pirelli Sato Zero winter tires, but we wish it didn't come at the expense of aesthetics. The cabin is typical Audi, with clean and modern designs, an emphasis on displays, and an overall functional layout that's easy to learn. Material quality is impressively high, while our test unit benefits from the optional carbon fiber trim, $500, and Napa leather upholstery, $1,000, in rotor gray. The combo of gray interior and green exterior is a good one. Dating back to the very first A5, S5, the seating position has always been excellent. The 2020 S5 is no different, featuring a low hip point and relatively little separating the bottom of the seat cushion from the floor. This is a sports car-like setup that splays its driver's legs out, while the chairs themselves, standard 12-way buckets on our range topping S5 Prestige, offer huge amounts of lateral support with enough cushioning for epic road trips. Getting in and out of the front seats is a simple task, despite the low chairs. Doing the same in the back is more of a chore, with limited legroom and an aggressively raked roofline to account for. The BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe has the same issue, so we won't rage against the compromised S5 Sportback too much. If you really care about your rear seat passengers, you, and they, would be far happier with an S4. But hey, at least the Sportback is roomier than the coupe.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.